Good morning. Today we're heading home. We're packing up by heading down to Grandma's at the moment to eat our breakfast, pick up the other kids. Then we come back and finish up packing. We have to be out of our place in two hours. I think we can do it, don't you think? Uh, yes, we can. We have to clean our house still. So first you have to unload everything out. Then you have to clean the house, and then we have to go back to the main office and drop everything off. But I think we're going to be able to make it. And um, let's see, it's almost 9 o'clock right now. So we're trying to get home as uh, expeditiously as possible. Nap time would be good. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of packing. <laughs> Be out by 11, 11.06, not too shabby. Goodbye, little cabin. Thank you for being a good home for us for a week. Nice little place. Very adequate for our family. There's our cheering squad. like a squash board took out one of my plants. One of my plants. My beautiful zucchini, you know, the one that I was training to go up. She sent me a picture and the bottom is all rotten and stuff and that. I had picked off a squash board before we left because it had taken out one of my other plants. So I was hoping that was gonna, that was the only one, but Apparently not. Apparently not. So I've got to see what I can do about it. Here we are. Time to get on the north way. So I just talked to Art. Peter brought his walkie talkies, which have been really good, and Art's just been behind me. We're going to stop at the next rest stop and just stretch our legs for the kids. We need a little um, time. And then we are, it says, let's see, 91 miles from home and we should be home just a little bit before two o'clock. So doing pretty good. We were hoping that we could get home in time for naps this afternoon. I'm not sure that's gonna work, but we'll see how we can do. Mom, look. Oh, you found a pen. Okay, that has to go in a trash can. Daniel was getting a little tired of his car seat, so yes, we had to take him was. out. We're going for a Daniel and mommy walk. We're going to make a quick stop here at the post office, check the P.O. box, and Art is going to just head on home with his car, the trailer, and the kids, and we'll, well, we'll be there shortly. Look at the sunflower! Oh, look at the sunflowers, Charity! They're gorgeous! Your four o'clock grew! Wow! 
Okay, we got some. And the echinacea. And wow, we got the volunteer tomato plant too. That's actually yep. producing. Wow. Oh, look at all the flowers. <gasps> look at all the painted ladies. The all the. Oh, look at the butterflies. <gasps> they all love these. Wow. And they drank my hummingbird feeder, and John just saw some hummingbirds. Wow. Oh, oh dear. We got to give this plant a water. He needs drink. Um, guys, let's get some water for the poor little. This that guy, one. look at it, it's all curly. Um, there we go. I got it. The eggplant is almost to the top of the lettuce. At the fence. Wow. Wow, look at the tomatoes. Okay, no, don't pick them. They have to get red. Don't hold on, little tomato. We're gonna get you some water. Watch out, Lydia, you might get wet. You'll be okay, little mater. Do you think it'll it'll survive? Yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, these are beautiful. These eggplants, Charity. I've oh never my. had eggplants like oh, this. Your tomato plants still half dead. What? Oh, no. Well, we just watered it. We just gave it a water. Wow, Amelia's been busy. She, she, look, she, she put pole beans, bush beans from porch beans. Wow. Dude, how much? <laughs> how much did she get? Uh, well, from here. That's a lot of stuff she picked. Look at these tomato plants. How big? It's oh, like giants out yeah. here. Oh, they're off the top of the sticks, Charity. Wow. Oh. You know what? Camping's almost mm. more fun when oh, you honey. get home because you get to check out what happened. Can you come here, Mom? Okay, just a minute. Hey, Mom. Oh, I don't know which way to go. Oh, the squash. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Mom. These tomatoes. John, I've never had tomatoes like this. John, this is unbelievable. Uh, check out the tomatoes at the bottom. Okay, right I, I gotta it's get over there. Gigantors. Although they're splitting open. Some are having a few split problems. Let's see. Whoa. Okay, we got some disease. <gasps> they're beautiful tomatoes. Oh. Oh, Mom. Look at the peppers. Oh, Mom. What? 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 These are huge. That is the size of my hand. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. This is the best Back there. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm getting. Look at the peppers. Pearls, how are you? Hey, look, your, your flowers over here. Oh, the zinnias are so pretty. Oh, look at the mushrooms. Look at the red mushrooms. That they're. Look at all the red mushrooms. They all faded over. Wow. There's an eggplant in there. Oh. Don't don't step on the tips, folks. Whoa. Look. Oh, that's a zucchiniano. Let's look at the fridge. This is just like, amazing what happened in a week. Okay. okay. Uh, Amelia, oh, it's okay. We said, here, okay, here's the zucchini plant that's got, we'll give it some water. Give it some water, see what we can do for it. It doesn't look too bad. A boar. Oh, we got more beans to pick. Wow. Looks like we're going to have to water too. We're having a May day. Wow, amazing. Wow. Oh, looks like the elderberry had. Don't touch it, don't touch. You know why? Look. The berries are so berries. heavy. Okay, just leave it. Let we'll it go. Have a bunch of cord and tie it up. No, not right now. Yes. Did it split, split, or just bend? Yeah, it did split. No, it split, split. Okay. Well, Mom? that happens. Okay. Wow, that's just simply amazing. Look at this bean. In a week. Oh, the wet the garden and did. Amazing. Wow, an inch and a half of rain while we were gone. All right, we're gonna start unloading, get the cold food put away, and I don't know if we'll pick up the camera later. If not, that's the end of this vlog. But we'll try to come on a little later and give you a little update on how things are going. Art and I went out to the garden and we picked a bunch of produce. Um, I think I showed you earlier what uh, the girl who was taking care of our garden for, she almost got a full page and part of a page full of produce that she very kindly recorded for us. But this is what we picked tonight. With this big, huge thing of green beans. We picked dill to go with some pickles. So I'm gonna be making pickles tonight. We're gonna be canning some green beans. And I'm here to weigh everything so let's see I don't know I may have to put this all in the bowl this happens sometimes so it's make sure it's accurate count okay one ounce of dill 
We just got another no. go to no, turn this here, turn this around. Oh, oh okay. Right, turn that around. There you go. Ah, see that's why Art's here. He's a smarty. And I just got a load of stuff in the dryer pounds, washer. One and a quarter ounces. Oh, that's quite a bit. I just got a load in the washer because when you come back you have several loads that need to be done. Okay, there we go. Mm. Uh, not too much. One and three quarters. Peas. That's a lot of beans. Or... It is. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see how much we have so far. Oh. Dropped one. Four, four eleven. 11. How much does the scale go up to? I think this one goes up to ten. So okay. Our old one only went up to five. Oh, can we make five? Oh. Hang on. Oh, come on. Oh. That, Hang on. I think there's we're... two beans on the table. Count around here. Found the two. Let's see if this will be enough to. Oh, we might need to go out to the garden and go find a few <laughs> that we missed. Okay, I'll be back. Back, and I found these. Let's see if that does. How it. did we miss those? They're at, right at the very top. Oh, Five pounds, one and a half. Now we are snipping off the ends. Yeah, yeah. Ends go there, beans go there. Are we going to break them up when we're done or yes. just leave yeah. them like that? Okay. Yeah, ends up. first. Ends first. It's easier because then if I tell the kids, you know, here, let's watch a movie and just snip, snip them into small pieces, they can do that. And it makes less mess because the ends make a mess. And I don't really want to watch a movie and have them chucking ends on, them, on my carpet. <laughs> you know that would happen. Right. Like, oops. Hi, Mom. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the camera and help. Okay. Uh, I just picked some garlic for the pickles. And that's three and a half ounces. So what I've done for my pickles tonight is I'm slicing all these guys, but these guys are small enough. I'm going to just actually throw these into a jar just like that. So those will be like little, what do you think? They call these gherkins, gherkins right? Yes. So we're going to have dill pickle, dill gherkins, and then we'll have sliced dill peppers, peppers, pickles. This recipe is really nice because you can take the pickles and well before they turn into pickles the cucumbers you can slice them and get everything prepped in my case I'm prepping now I'm gonna put the kids to bed and then I'm gonna come back fill these jars and then finish the um, the canning of them it just for me it's easier just taking it step by step now Art and Lillian finished washing all the beans sorry for the mess guys this we just came home from camping this is one pile of beans Here's another pile of beans. We need to still snip all these and then put them in cans. Art thinks we've got about 14 quarts. I have my dill here, here ready for pickles. And then I have the garlic here. And when I'm ready to fill the jars, we're gonna have the dill here, the garlic all peeled, and we're just going to like very, um, what do you call that? A systematically? Systematically, no, but I'm thinking assembly, assembly line. line. Very much like an assembly line, we're just gonna chunk, 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 and it's gonna go really fast, and we'll be done with it. Um, that's what I like about doing this. You can prep it in steps, which gives you time to be able to, in my case, take care of kids in between. And it works really, really well for me. If you're looking for this recipe, it is the best dill pickle recipe, in my opinion. I'll put a link to it. It's actually on my website, but I'll put a link down in below and you can check that out for yourself. It is so garlicky and so full of dill. It's just, they are the best. Okay, thank you. Drain that. Now we're packing the pickles. Uh, which we'll call it? What is that? Um, garlic. garlic. Right. Sprig of dill. And now we have to carefully. Woohoo! This is hot. Those jars have been boiling for a while. Do you know the same temperature if they've been boiling for a second or an hour? Look at her go. Packing those pickles in there. These ones are so good. I just love these pickles. See, this is why it's so easy to do this when you do it piecemeal. Because once you get the assembly line going, you 
just stuck those in there and There they are, they're almost ready to go in there. Those are looking good. The only problem is you have to wait six weeks after right, they're they have done. To kind of cure. Alright. We have a little bit of leftover brine and some leftover cucumbers, so we're going to make some refrigerator pickles. Yeah, and I'm gonna throw garlic in there. Oh, it's so exciting! They are. Okay, quiet. Listen. And then we heard one that's popping already. Good. Things they got really hot. Oh, they're going to taste so good. Yes, they will. Okay, I'm going to cover these up. Night, night, pickles. We'll see you in the morning. Now we're going straight from the water bath canner to the pressure cooker and we're going to do the beans. And yes, you can see what time it is. Yes, it is late, but we should be finishing this before, uh, before midnight, I think. Those look good too. Now this is the first seven quarts and it looks like we're going to have Oh, I'd say five to seven more quarts to do. Okay, well, that's a good thing. Yeah. It's a good problem to have. Yes, it is. This is what we've wanted. We're onward to hitting that goal of 500 pounds of produce for the year. That's... Yeah, well, the peaches have to do their job if we and, want 500 and pumpkins. pounds. And we yes. don't have any pumpkins now either. But we will see what happens. There you go. Okay, mm -hmm. now we wait. The jiggler is jiggling, so we have 25 minutes to go, and then these will be done. It's getting late, and that's what we have left. And we did get 14 quarts. Oh we got our seven, seven in there, and the other seven, and we're cutting off the steam so that we can get the other one going. And yes, it is almost 11 o'clock, and one more load left. It's 11.10, we're putting in the last seven quarts of green beans, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. We're gonna call it a night. It's been a long day. It's been a very busy day. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching our vacation videos. I hope you enjoyed them, and we will see you for our next video. Good night.